Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to downgrade the iPhone from version 2.21 to version 2.2 or version 2.1. Uh, on the website at iramistech.com I will put the links to download your firmware. So remember you have to download the firmware that goes with your device, if it's a 3G or the first generation iPhone. Uh, but they will both work. I'm going to put the links on there, so remember visit aramistech.com. In the next few minutes I'll show you how to do it directly with the uh, with iTunes and on the phone. Thank you and I appreciate you watching all of my videos. Let me just show you real quick again that I have actually version 2.21 here. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here on the phone and show you. And I'm going to go to about. And as you can see here I have version 2.2 0.1 and uh, it already has been also updated the carrier to AT&T 3.1 uh, when you downgrade this version and, and connect to iTunes it's going to ask you to upgrade the AT&T uh, carrier information alrighty so here we're ready to do the firmware uh, downgrade uh, the first thing you need uh, first I want to mention that I'm using Windows XP to do this tutorial uh, I tried it on Windows Vista and I had some issues so I'm using XP but uh, the first thing you need to do is go to aramistech.com to download two pieces of software that you're going to need to create this uh, downgrade. The first thing you're going to need is the Quick Pawn program. This program will allow you to actually uh, jailbreak the iPhone if you want to, but this is not what we're going to do. We're going to use this program to actually downgrade the version of, uh, of the uh, iPhone. So the next thing you're going to need is the firmware that goes with your iPhone. If you have a 3G iPhone, this is the number of the version, and if you have the first generation, this will be the first one. All those links are going to be on the website, so you'll be able to download the firmware that goes with your device. Just remember, you have to use the right firmware in order for this to work. You should be able to use this on your iPod Touch, since the iPod Touch is similar to the iPhone. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it should work. I have done it with the uh, previous version, downgrading from 2.2 to 2.1, and it worked. Uh, in this case, we're going to downgrade from version 2.21 to version 2.2 uh, or lower if you want to do that. But you have to get the firmware for the other versions. You can find those versions also on my website. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open iTunes. And I already have the phone connected, as you see here. And on the right, you're going to see a restore button. Now, in order for this to work, you have to you, first you download the versions of the firmware, which I did here, and I saved them on the desktop. Now the second thing is when you're going to click restore you want to first press the shift key on your keyboard and while you hold that shift key down you press uh, click actually on the restore button okay and when you click the restore button you're going to see a pop-up window that comes out when this pop-up window comes out you're going to go ahead and you're going to choose the uh, version that you have I already have it here looking into the desktop so I'm gonna choose the one that goes with my iPhone in this case I have a 3G iPhone so I'm gonna choose the one that starts with 1 and 2 okay so I have it here and I'm gonna choose open and it's gonna start extracting the software and then it's gonna actually start working on the iPhone and it will show you how it starts processing and you see the iPhone will go into recovery mode and then it'll start doing the extraction from there uh, I'll be back in a few seconds and then show you the rest because this is going to take you a little bit to do this uh, downgrade. So give it a little bit while this does this this work. And uh, it's like I said, it might give you an error before, but uh, you don't worry about the error. That's going to be where we use the quick pawn to fix that problem. At this point, you will see that the iPhone is restoring and it's almost halfway, so it's taking a little bit. Um, you can see on the iPhone itself, you will see uh, the Apple and a little line, a progress bar that will show you, uh, you know, the process it's going doing the restore process. Remember to keep this connected to your USB connection, uh, a direct USB connection to your computer, so that it doesn't have any problems and that hopefully your power doesn't go off. So hopefully nothing will this interrupt, you know, this this uh, interrupt this actual downgrade. Alrighty, so it's almost done. It should be finished in a few seconds and on the iPhone itself you still see the progress and it will move along. You'll see it go halfway and then all of a sudden it will finish and the phone will start to re reboot. I also wanted to mention if you look at here on, the, um, on iTunes on the top you see that I still have version 2.21. Uh, I will show you on the iPhone and on iTunes how it changes back then to 2.2.
Alrighty, so here you're gonna see now an error come up once it's done with the restore process, and it's gonna give you an error of 1013. On the iPhone itself, you're gonna see the iPhone reboot and go again back into recovery mode. At this point, we wanna use the Quick Pawn program to reactivate this version. Now, the iPhone has already been, um, you know, downgraded to version 2.2. However, it won't work unless you use the Quick Pawn program to activate this version. So um, we're ready to go. So if you got 1013 error, then you're, you're all right. Okay, just press OK, and you're gonna ignore that. It's gonna come right back, and you're gonna see in a second. It's gonna come back, and it's gonna tell you that the iPhone has been detected in recovery mode. So you must restore it. We don't want to do that because you already did restore it. So we're gonna click OK. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to minimize the iTunes and we're going to open the Quick Pawn program. And when you press the Quick Pawn program, the first time you open it, right after, don't click OK, just you're going to see a pop up and it's going to tell you that before continuing, please hold down the home button and power buttons for 15 seconds. Then press the power button for 2 seconds to re reset your device. And that's exactly what you want to do. So we're going to do that on the iPhone itself. All right, on the iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the home button down and hold the power button on the top for 15 seconds or probably a little less depending on how long it takes to turn off. Once it turns off, I'm going to let it go and I'm going to press the power button on the, on the top twice. Okay? And it's going to reboot and you're going to see a little apple come up. And uh just give it a second, it, it'll come up. Once it does, you're going to find out that it's already going to install already that version, the 2.2 version. At this point, it, it takes a little bit for it to reboot, uh, but like I said, give it a second, it'll come up, and when it does, you'll have already version 2.2 on the iPhone, so you have downgraded the version. As you can hear behind me, that it already detected it. Now it already comes up as it needs to be activated. If you go ahead and you open um, iTunes, then you're going to see how it actually works. So in this case, what I'm going to do is, uh, if you look at iTunes right now, you're going to see that the iPhone comes up. It's going to ask you to upgrade the, uh, the carrier settings. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to put update settings. And it's going to go OK. Now if you go back to your iPhone, now for example it's going to give you an option here if I want to set it up to a new iPhone or if I want to go ahead and, and uh, do it from backup. So I'm just going to put continue here and uh, just leave it as it is. I'm not going to sync anything. Okay, so I'm ready to go. And on the iPhone itself, let me, uh, bear with me a second, let me turn this off here. Okay, on the iPhone itself, you're going to find um, that it's going to be activated. So now when you go to your iPhone and you look at the screen, it's going to already have, it's going to say iPhone is activated. And all you have to do is just slide the unlock and you're going to see that now it will show up. Click dismiss. Well, you're going to see that little pop-up comes up. So here what we're going to do is I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to about, I mean general, I'm sorry, I'm going to, let me go back here. I'm going to go to general. I'm going to go to about and I'm going to show you that now I have the new version there which is version 2.2 instead of the version 2.1 um, 2.21 I'm sorry that I had before on the uh, device itself so now I have version 2.2 on there and if you go on iTunes you will see that I also have uh, version 2.2 on there so now I have downgraded the iPhone successfully to uh, version 2.2 you can also downgrade to version 2.1 if you downgrade, you know, if you get the firmware. I have that tutorial on the website as well. So you just go to aramistech.com and you'll be able to do that. I hope this tutorial uh, helped you out and it made it easy for you to downgrade the phone. I've had several issues with version 2.2.1. So I did downgrade to version 2.2 uh, because of the issues I, I currently had. I had some uh, uh, crashes on the iPhone, uh, battery problems that I had. So if you're having those problems, definitely this is a way to go. If you're going to jailbreak the phone, remember that it does void your warranty. So if you continue uh, with a quick pawn program after that point, it's going to void the warranty. So you want to close out the, if you're not going to do that, just close out the quick pawn program. You only needed it to do that one step to reactivate the version that was uh, restored on the iPhone. Thank you very much and I appreciate you watching all of my videos.